In your kit, you have two centrifuge tubes like that, and that's what we're gonna use to sample the drinking water. In theory, we should use larger volumes, but we'll assume that this works, and in fact, it's gonna give us some results. So why two? It's because we're gonna use a two flush sampling strategy, which means that we're gonna sample one sample in one flush and the other sample in another flush. What we are trying to capture here is the effect of the different piping on the lead contamination in the water, if any contamination is present. So the first flush that you will have to do is a flush that happens when the water was not used for a very long time. So for example, first thing in the morning. So we want you to select a tap, it can be your kitchen tap, your bathroom tap, whichever tap you want that um, provides drinking water, and we want you to use only cold water. Um, the reason is that cold water comes directly from the city system, hot water sometimes is um, warmed in a separate basin in your house or in your apartment complex. So let's imagine that you are early in the morning, nobody has ever used the water, so you're gonna do your first flush, which means that you take in your, your tube, you open it, and you will sample the first 15 milliliters that come out. So that's what the volume of this tube is. I also wanna make sure that you select a tap that doesn't have a filtering system associated. And do not remove the aerator or anything on your tap, just use it as it is if you were to take drinking water. So we're just gonna flush, um, sample the first flush, like that, very easy. You, you close the tube very well, we don't want it to spill. You can shake it if you want, that's kind of something I always do with these tubes. Uh, and then we're gonna now let the water running for some time, one, two minutes, it doesn't have to be much longer. The reason is that we want to flush all the water that is in the pipes that are nearby the tap. So probably the pipes in your house, so that we capture the entire system and the quality of the water that you most likely have when you take water on a regular day. In the second sample, you will just, as the water has been running now, it's now capturing the piping that is probably underneath the street, I will take a second flush and the second 15 milliliters sample of water, just like that. Cap it, turn off the water, cold water always. And that's all there is to do when you're sampling the drinking water for lead contamination.